Alrighty, we had this uh, box here with a blank cover on it and there's power here and we're going to put a switch in the wall here and we're going to put a real nice wall light here. But first, we're going to make sure there's nothing in the way here to prevent us from putting that switch in. So what we're going to do is uh, take I'm going to open up the clamp in our box here. Open up our hole here. And we'll take a piece of wire and slide it in here and see how far over it goes. Okay, it's open up on the top here, and this was up here so you can take this out, but if that was hollow up for, it was not open up there, it would slide the wire, will keep pushing it across, and we would see that the wire would go through there without a problem, so we'll uh, cut a hole over here for our switch. This uh, plastic Bakelite box here. Make sure our sharp edges off of here so we don't puncture our wire. Okay, now we can get a pen and trace our box out. There was a pen, oh, I got it right here. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna trace our box right here. Okay, so we have our hole here where we're going to mount our box. Okay, we're going to get our Okay, so we'll drill the uh, corners where we're going to cut the hole.
Okay, now I'll take what's called a keyhole saw and I'll cut our hole. Well, you know what I can do? I can drill holes down here and across, so that'll make it a little easier to cut. That's a little trick I want to show you. So I can drill holes. Okay, now we can cut with our keyhole saw a lot easier. So let's take our box and see how we did with our cut. Okay, so we have to go a little wider. We gotta go just a little wider here.
got the height okay. I got to get a little more on the width here. You know something I might try? I'm gonna just try to see if I can use the drill as like a router. See how that works. for this notch right here and I got to cut the one on the other side for this one. It's going to go in pretty good. So now we just got to cut our uh, notches for this right here, the screw tabs here. So we will. We'll just get in the middle here. top here. Let's see if that's going to line up with this one. Yep.
see how that lines up. Okay, I gotta come over just a little more on this one here. That's going to line up good. Okay, that's going to look like I'll just hit a little more. I'll just drop it out with the drill bit here. Okay, now we're ready to put our box in. I'm going to go get a hammer. First of all, we got to get our ground screw to a green screw. We have to put this in the back of the box here to ground or uh, bond our wire to the box. We'll take out the clamp we're not using. Okay, so we will uh, open our knockout here on the box. Now if this was hollow, uh, it was not open here on the top, what we would do is we would uh, slide our wire through. I'll do it as if this was closed up here. After we had poked our wire through, grab my wire on the side here. And i uh, rip my wire and mount my rip the end here like that. Clean all the debris out of it. Okay, we would, we have to clip off all our debris here, get all nice and clean, make sure there's no uh, paper in there. We would put our wire into the box like this. We'll tighten our clamp in the back here. And I'll take the side off so you can see how, I'm, how I rip round to the box.
Okay, so you can see that green screw there. I take my bare ground wire, I go around that screw. I close my loop around that screw, the direction the screw turns, like that there. Make sure it's tight. We'll put our ground tail down here. Now we'll put our side back on. And this is a gangable box. If you want to add, make this into a double gang box, you would take one side off and uh, gang your box. Okay, we'll tighten it back down here. Now we put our wire back into the wall here. Okay, we'll make sure our Romex is down so it's not exposed up here. Okay, now we can take what's called a, a box hold it. These are called box hold -its. And the way you put these in is you go up like this, push it in. It's a little bit harder putting it into the uh, pine wood here. So I'll take it out, but that's how it would go in. So what I would have to do then is I would take the bottom here, so it's a little too long, bend it up like this. And I'd fold it in flat like this. Bend it down nice and flat so it goes in easy like that. Because if this wasn't hollow, I wouldn't be able to reach it from the top. In like this. I'd be holding it here if I couldn't get it right from the top there. We'll push it in. So then I would push push it down like this. I would push the box in like that, pull this up, make sure it's tight, bend these over. Then I would take my pliers and squeeze here, squeeze here, make sure it's in all the way. And I'll do the same with the other side. So I'll take I will bend this a little bit so it goes in easier on the bottom because it's so tight there. Flatten it down real flat. So I have to tap this one in a little bit. Push it down. Now I'll take the box, push in on the box, bend this over, pull in and bend that over like that. Squeeze this in. Now we can hook our switch up. 
So uh, here in the country I was born in, the black wire is live, the white is neutral, and the bear is the ground. But in this case, the white is live it's because it's a switch loop. So we're going to hook the switch up. We use a 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps. I'm going to clip this back some. Yeah, I'll put this back a little bit shorter too. So I'll strip our insulation off here. So first we'll put our bare ground wire around the green screw. If we bonded this ground to the box, now we bond it to the switch. Close our wire around the screw the direction our screw turns. Okay, we have our ground around the green screw. Now we'll put our wires on the switch here. Since this is a single pole switch, it does not matter which one you put the black or white on. So we'll take our white wire, make our loop the direction our screw turns. Close our loop the direction the screw turns. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we'll do the same with our black wire. Make our loop the direction the screw turns. Close our loop the direction the screw turns. Pull it back so our wire is hugging the inside of the screw so it stays under the head all the way around. Make sure it's nice and tight. And that's the kind of connection we want right there. I'll just double check it, make sure it's tight. So that's what we want right there. Now we can fold our wires into the box. So we'll fold our black wire going up and our white wire going down. And we'll fold our ground wire zigzag like this so it stays at the bottom. Yeah, look, make sure our ground wire is down away from everything and everything's the way we want it. So now we can stick our cover on here. Make sure it's nice and 
straight there. Make sure our switch is off. Now we'll, yeah, it's nice and straight. So now we'll come over here and we'll get our light wired. Okay, so now we can get our, uh, here's, here's our clamp. We'll put our clamp back in the box here. Okay, now we'll strip our wires here and get it ready to hook our light up. Okay, so we'll first we'll strip our uh, outer jacket off here. I'll just rip the end here. Pull our jacket off. <clears throat> we'll push our a little bit excess back here so we don't have too much in the box, the jacket. So I'll just push it back a little bit here. Tighten our screw up. Okay, now we have our wires we gotta hook up. We'll get our grounds together here. And we'll take a tail out of our uh, piece we cut off. Okay, we'll twist them together here. Get our third one in here. Get it to go nice and even here. Cut it so it's even. <clears throat> and you either put a crimp sleeve or a wire nut on. Okay, our ground wires are tailed together here. We can get back into our box. Now we have this, uh, our black wire, which is live here. So we're gonna go shut the breakers off. Okay, we make sure our wire is dead now. So we take our, our black feed wire, which is from the power source, and we'll go to our white switch wire. So we'll just clip them like this here, strip them with our number 12 hole. So we get the reason the black feed wire goes to the white switch wire is so that the black wire coming back from the light is live. 
the black one going back to the light is live and the white is neutral that the white from the light will go to. So we got them twisted evenly here. We'll cut it so it's even on the end there. We'll put our yellow wire net on here. You can put two number 12s in a yellow wire net. Make sure it's nice and tight there. Okay, now we can fold this back into our box, get it out of our way here. So now we have a black and a white left. So now the black is live when the switch is on and the white is neutral. So we'll get our wires stripped and prepare our light fixture to go up. Now we had to buy one of these because uh, we're using a used light that this part was uh, missing. So we're gonna put this on the box. Our holes are gonna go up and down. There's the single piece, we're not gonna use that. So we're going to put this on our box like this, so that this can go like this. So we'll have our black and white over here, and our ground screws will be over here. So we're going to put, I'm going to line this up here with our light and see which holes we're going to use here. We're going to use the uh, we're going to use the two that are closer to the center. Okay, so we can put our screws in through our holes here. To these are eight thirty two screws. So we'll put these in to mount our uh, light fixture to. So we'll make sure it's up nice and snug there. And I'll just tighten them from the back here. So when I go to put the nuts on, this doesn't back off on me. So we gotta put our green screw in here. Okay, so I have to use a couple of other 632 screws here to screw this into the box. It's longer. Snug this onto our box. Okay, so we want this going up and down like this. So we'll get our ground wire. We'll get it around our green screw here.
We'll close our loop around the screw, the direction the screw turns like that. Okay, so our, our light does not have a, a ground wire on it. So we'll just fold this ground wire down and get it out of our way here. We'll fold it up like this. And we'll just get it back out of our way here. All right, and put it up here behind here, get it out of the way of everything in here. And now we can hook our uh, black and white up to our light. So as you can see, this fixture does not have a green wire on it, but we grounded it to the bracket, so it is grounded. So we'll strip our black and white. I'll get nice new strips here so we can get the, the nice Okay, so here in the country I was born in, the white is neutral, and we'll take and we'll get our strand insulation even at the bottom there. We'll wrap our stranded wire around the solid wire like this. And I'll just twist our wire nut on until it's nice and snug. and the insulation's going up into the bottom of the cap the way we want it to. Now we'll do our black one here. The insulation even at the top there, like that. And we'll wrap our stranded wire around the solid wire, get our copper even at the top there. We'll put our wire nut on, make sure our insulation goes up into the bottom of the wire nut. Okay, now we can fold our wires back into our box here. Now we can set our fixture on the box. And now we gotta get our nuts. We'll put our nut on here to hold our fixture back. Get nice and straight here. Now we can just tighten it up a little bit. If I had a socket set, I'd use it, but I don't. So this way we'll tighten the bracket up and get everything all nice and snug here. I'll look around the sides, make sure no wires are pinched. Okay, we'll get it all nice and straight here. And there's our wall switch. And this is our light fixture. Alrighty, so that is how to install a light from a capped off set of wires here in the country I was born in using a uh, metal box and uh, box hold -its and how to wire a switch loop after the light. When the power comes to the light, the black feed wire goes to the white switch wire. That is one example of where a white wire would be live because white is normally neutral, but it can be live in a switch loop such as we saw here.
and it can be live in a 220 or 240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. And I showed you how to uh, cut a hole in to some wood and put a metal box in. And that would be for uh, baseboards also if you're putting outlets in a baseboard. Uh, peace. Thanks for watching. So there's our breaker box. It's an older style Wadsworth.